Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing sort of a follow up to a video from last week where we checked out the ultimate 4000 band modded Jupiter as today we've got a another upgrade on the previous one we checked out um, last video and we've also got um, something else pretty cool as well so that is a Uranus you've already uh, would have seen it in the thumbnail there's no point in hiding it so without further ado we are going to get straight into it so we're going to a, we're going to a fresh simulation. Um, for this actually but yeah these two are from mad planet guy once more he's back at it again with just crazy sized banded objects so yeah he sent me them um in discord here to um check out for this video um the links to both of these will be in the description for the video if you would like to get them as well um so yeah here we are we'll start off with the jupiter since um we'll con yeah, continue on from the last video so right i'll go to my objects here okay so well, yeah we'll, we'll do a little history lesson actually so we've got the uh banded jupiter we've had for quite a while now this one here so it's all in my custom menu of stuff. Then we also have the Jupiter from the previous video, which is this one here. So as you can see, the colors are a lot more enhanced, right? This is like an enhanced version of Jupiter. But now we've got this one. Now ch check this out. If we're going to place it, place it right there. Look at that. Look at this. How good does that look? I mean, if we, we'll put it in between the realistic and the previous, like, uh, or the, put it in between the enhanced and the previous realistic version. So, comparing it to the one from the previous video, you can see straight away the colours, they're way, way more toned down. We can still see it's got the, the blues in there, they have made it. So, yeah, remember, this is about 4,000 bands, but there is one difference as well. I believe the North and the South Pole have been upgraded, if we look. I think it's the North, as you can see, the bluish area that has finally been added, because I don't think it was really on this one either. I mean, if we check out the uh, original Jupiter, place that in there, you can see the original Jupiter doesn't even make an effort to have a North Pole, um, really. So, yeah, we've got this one as our uh, ultimate or closest to realistic version um, that exists that uh, anyone has made now. So, yeah, well done to my Planet Guy for sending this in. But, yeah, that is crazy, crazy awesome, the way that looks. I mean, yeah, the, the North Pole added in there. I think it's a really, really good improvement over the previous one because if you look at it, it, it does look very enhanced. I think the colours in the new one are a lot blended um, better together. I think it's a really good upgrade from this one here. So the uh, one we've had for... Um, oh, I just nudged my mic there. Um, yeah, I believe this one is the true upgrade to the, this one here that we've had for a long time now. I think we've had... This one's been around for over a year old now. Um, but yeah, this one to me, I think this is the true upgrade to that one. I think the bands, they just blend, they just blend Bella. Like, just like this one did all the way back when uh, we first checked this one out. I think this one is really, really good. But what, what we need to try, we need to name it Jupiter. We need to get the uh, red spot on here. And we wanna, I want to get this thing in. Uh, I want to play this. Um, so we're just going to call it Jupiter. Uh, there we go. So we just call it a good old Jupiter. Yeah, uh, there's no spaces in there or anything like I do with my organization. Right, then I'm just going to save the simulation. So I'll just call it uh, Simulation 1 so we can find it easy. And then when I reopen the simulation, it should have the red spot enabled. So let's just uh, let it do its thing. And this thing, yeah, it takes a while to open the menu just because of how many bands it's got as well, which is just crazy, crazy. I mean, look, look how long it's taken to save just one single object in a simulation. I mean, that is just crazy. Okay, here we are. The uh, simulation actually took quite a while to save and all that. So I actually um, just cut the recording. But yeah, here we are. So we can now check out all of the bands rotating around with this Jupiter. This is going to be awesome. Looks like this Jupiter's got some velocity as well. We need to uh, we need to slow that down. Let's pull it to uh, yeah, zero speed. We're on it traveling. Right, now we can really gaze upon what we like to do all the time whenever we do these. We're going to zoom in and just just take a moment to enjoy the bat this the way the bands swirl around and um, what we'll do is we'll also put the rotation of the object onto zero so if we go rotational like that right now now we can watch all the bands and stuff go around so we'll just turn off orbits and labels uh, on and off um, now we'll speed it up so now you can really see all of this stuff at work i mean look at look how cool that is i mean i, I love i love the way universe sandbox simulates all the gases in, in this, I mean, look at it. Look at it all swirl around. We're definitely going to have to check out the North Pole since that's had the uh, biggest upgrade. There's the uh, red spot as well. So I we'll speed it up and let, let have the little red spot. Um, I say little, but having the red spot, yeah, go around uh, the planet as well. But just look at all the bands at work, all, all swirling around, all those gases mixing and colliding and going through. Like, look how cool it is, all, the, all swirling around. It's just it's just awesome. It's, the only thing is, we need a higher detailed red spot, I think, but I don't know if that's even possible to mod. Um, as far as I know, but yeah, just look at that. We're looking the South Pole as well. All of the uh, gases down there rotating as well. See all the ones down here. And if we look at the North, let's see how the North Pole looks. Yeah, the the new upgrade, the North Pole um, area here. Look how good that looks. Uh, yeah, the bluish area in the North Pole. 
if you are if you want to question it why it's blue you can look at some real images because yeah it does couple like that bluish area um in the north um up there but yeah overall very nicely done indeed yeah love it i think it looks great so yeah there is the uh photo i think he called it the photo realistic jupiter uh realistic jupiter yeah really really nice job indeed to mad planet guy and yeah thank you to him for uh sending this in for me to check out in this video but yeah that is the jupiter but now we're gonna get on to the new the new one for today so i'm gonna pause it now we have a uranus as well as i mentioned at the start of the video and you probably saw in the title so if we just wait for it to um load um yeah so this one, so if I go up to um, what he told me here, so this one has got over, well, uh, yeah, around double how much that uh, Jupiter has. So this one has 7,000 plus bands, and it's a, yeah, photorealistic Uranus. So where is it? So uh, this is the Uranus I use most of the time. It's this one here, H Uranus. So wh wh where are we? Can I uh, still, wh 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 where's the thing? Got? Nice no, turn off chart mode. That's probably why. Okay, there we go. So this is the normal Uranus I use. So it's only got one band, a nice pale one. And also have this more realistic version, I think, which is slightly more paler than that one. But yeah, now we have this one here, which is... Yeah, just take, it to take a look at this. Look at this thing. This thing's absolutely insane. Comparing it to the uh, this one here, I mean, I could make this one more pale as comparison as well. So if I just uh, slightly modify... Even, yeah, you can tell straight away this one's got way more bands than those uh, pale ones do. So, yeah, this is the photorealistic Uranus. So, it's very, very bland still. It's got, obviously, a ton of different bands, all different shades of blue. And you can see there's some lighter green shades as well um, in there, too. There was even more green originally, but, yeah, we um, I think he removed it because it was a little over the top. But you can still see it's got this, like, circular area around it like the regular Uranus has. Um, so, if we just put the regular Uranus in for comparison. You see, yeah, so you can see he's... Uh, Based off this light blue band, well, he's made his own version in this more photorealistic version with just a crazy, crazy band count. So check this thing out. When we click play on this thing, uh, I, I'm going to have to open it first. But look how long the game takes just to open an object menu. That is how many bands this thing has. And any object with crazy bands, yeah, my, my game is not even, yeah, it, it's crashed. The game has crashed trying to open this thing's menu. So tip for you, if you get this object, try not to open the menu because it's completely taken my game out. So, yeah, guys, I'll be back with you once uh, I've got the game going. Okay, guys, I got the menu open this time. It's all, yeah, we're on the zero rotational period now. Yeah, that was, that was weird. So it actually crashed my game when I was recording. Just trying to open an object menu. I mean, that is that is insane. You can just see how many bands. But look how it looks when you're playing the simulation. We'll uh, speed up time a bit so we can really look at Uranus's bands all rotate around. But how good that looks. I mean, you can look at it all swirling around. And we'll see we can get in a little closer here just so we can watch just all the gases. All the gases just swirling around. It's, that's what I love about these mega banded objects is you can just really zoom in and focus and all the little individual bands just going crazy, all mixing in, rotating around. We'll get on the studio mode. But check that out. I think this one, uh, honestly, I think this is probably cooler than the Jupiter just because of all the individual bands. It's got more bands all swirling around at once. I mean, how cool that looks. I would still say some feedback. I do think the green, the greens do feel a little out of place, personally, for me. I'm sure um, if you guys have got any feedback for these objects as well, let us know down below in the comments because I'm sure my planet guy will uh, hopefully improve on the feedback he's given there. But yeah, I think the green is still a little too much to me. But yeah, originally the uh, this band here was even more green from the images I saw. But yeah, either, either way, I still think it's great. I think it looks really, really good. Look at the uh, area here. This looks pretty, pretty cool. It's got all the individual bands swirling around here. Look at look at all those ones go around. I mean, how many bands? I mean, seven thousand plus. I mean, that is crazy. Try counting every single one in there. I mean, that is just absolutely amazing so we'll get a comparison actually with the uranus and the jupiter at the same time we'll throw in uh we'll throw in the neptune as well the mega neptune which is this one i think it was this mega yeah that was mega neptune not as visible with the bands um on that one so we'll throw that and we'll pull it in with the new jupiter as well obviously a lot bigger we don't have a saturn um i'll throw it i guess i can throw in some other crazy modded objects in here uh, where, where's my good old lime green ones i always use those as good marker uh benchmarks um i think it was 15 banded 15 yeah, that, that one there, that was the really insane one. But yeah, we've got a few other bands, which is just a comparison. So you can see, yeah, this Uranus is definitely on the higher end of having a lot of bands. It's kind of like this green one. I mean, this one's got more bands than that. But you, yeah, it's definitely got more than this one, say, for instance. But yeah, just comparing them all together there. So put, um, yeah, there we go. So uh, make live. 
So comparing it to the, uh, this is like the realistic bunch of objects now. So we've got the Neptune here, not as many bands as the other two, but still a very nice uh, mix of objects. And we can also throw the Dark Spot Neptune in as well. We've got, forgot, completely forgot about that, um, guys. So there, there's the Dark Spot Neptune, where it's got that, yeah, dark, dark shadow patch on it. And there, it looks um, really, really cool. But yeah, I think Uranus, great, great improvement. We'll throw it in a solar system simulation, actually. Let's go to um, good old, um, yeah, I'll go to realistic um, this time. So we'll just sort of re replace the objects in. So we'll just, uh, yeah, Jupiter, what we'll do is we'll just uh, yeah, place the new one in like that. Oh, I like the orange trail as well. Uh, we'll place the Uranus in. And then what we'll do is we'll just simply delete the original Jupiter and the original Uranus from the simulation. Now, if we get a lineup of all the objects here, let's see how the solar system looks with these upgraded sort of like banded objects. I mean, look at that. So this is the realistic colored one. Obviously, Saturn completely the same. Saturn is the object which no one can touch for a modded version because it's perfect. The, the regular Saturn is already perfect as far as I'm concerned. I mean, it doesn't need any premises. All good. Right, so we'll just go and make live here. I would be interested to see a, uh, an ultra Saturn, but I think it would just be rather pointless because the regular one does a good job already but yeah there we go so uh all the objects lined up gas giants look how well that new uranus fits in i think it looks really really nice combined with all the other solar system objects as well we'll see the neptune uh saturn you've got the jupiter over here really really nicely done um with those as well but yeah enough of me rambling on again a massive thank you to mad planet guy for sending these uh mega banded objects in and yeah like i said if you would like to uh pick them up for yourselves they will be in the description you can get them off the steam workshops they'll be linked straight to the pages where you can um get the objects so yeah hopefully you enjoy those if you do decide to get them and yeah any feedback uh, from mad planet guy i'm sure he'll appreciate it if you um let him know down below in the comments but yeah that all said and done guys a massive thank you for watching today's video uh if you liked it let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video guys and also subscribe for more helps on the journey to 17,000 subscribers before the end of the month as we are getting really really close yeah make sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already and yeah guys um make sure you have a great day uh stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next video goodbye